Hi, Andrew Andrew here. We're in front of the Lunt Fontan Theater. About to see Motown. I'm so excited because you may not know this, but we're also DJs. And as DJs, we owe so much to Motown. I kind of feel like I'm going to go see an opera because I know what's going to happen. Now look, I'm not looking for Jerusalem. I'm not looking for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. I'm not even looking for cats. I just want to hear some awesome Motown tunes. I want to see impersonations of Diana Ross, Smokey Robinson. Let's go inside. Michael Jackson, guys, got his start on Motown. Like, oh my god, I didn't even... Motown is the sound... Of he... young America. We'll see you after the first act of Motown. <laughs> I, my, my feelings about this are so mixed. First off, I don't think this is actually a musical. I think that it's a series of musical numbers with some talking in between. Talking which is subpar at best. The book, at least at this point, is really... That being said, the music is amazing. And I want to single out Michael Arnold, who does Jackie Wilson. He comes out and does almost like Jackie Wilson doing Beyonce, and then continues to impress and satisfy. The in-between parts, the talking parts, where they're trying to tell the story, yeah. it leaves a lot to be desired. It moves at such a fast pace that you forget uh -huh. that you were cringing a minute ago. It's interesting because he also peppers in a bit of political conflict that really doesn't go well, far story, enough. But this, well, the story of Motown, though, is, of course, the story of race in America. But it's almost as though they need their own voice and they need their own show to tell the real story of Motown and not just yeah. a series of songs. It's really, it's two, it's two different shows entirely. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if they can come together and form one cohesive whole. Do we even talk about what the show's about? Uh, it's the history of Motown. It's Duh. in the title. They take you from 1930s until 1983, historically with costumes and with set design. The set is so cinematic and dynamic that it is, almost becomes a character in and of itself. Yeah. This, sh this show never stops moving. It's a shame that it starts to run out of some of the steam that propels it so quickly through the murkier parts in the beginning. And it starts to sort of come apart at the end and slow down just a, just a, just a little bit too much for my taste. Like an older performer showing it their age on stage. Felicia Lequet was doing a, almost a drag, almost camp impersonation of Diana Ross. And the second act begins with the Jackson 5. Raymond Luke Jr., who plays little Michael Jackson, I know those songs. And he nails each Seriously. and every one of them. It is Eerie. Were there plot points? I don't. Was there a plot? <laughs> Cut out all the speaking. Yes. Write new songs to illuminate the necessary plot points and make this a proper mm -hmm. musical music. Some of the acting was almost schmaltzy. It, yeah. it, it was. It was. I. I mean, they're great singers and dancers, but as far as acting goes, uh, more than likely this is going to be a huge hit. And it deserves to be. For my money, this is a yellow light. I feel the same way. I can't yeah. give it a green light, but I can't give it a red light because I did have a good time. Two yellow lights for Motown at the... At the Lunt Fontan. One more hit for Motown. As if they need it. <laughs>